Hello there, Shreddy Midland, Tori here. How are we? Hope you're all doing well. As you can probably tell from the background, I think it might be a bit echoey in here, but it'll have to do. With, we're in a different bit of a setup. I've got this going on behind me now. So, as you guys know, I have quite a big collection of Loungefly bags. Some you can see behind me, some are over here, some are on the floor. I think I have around 20-ish. And when I started collecting Loungefly bags, I had like a little shelving unit in the corner of my room. That worked fine for a while. And then recently it's kind of become to this point where I had to get something sorted out because I was running out of space to put them in. So we're here in the spare room. My room is just that way. And I've always had this little bit as my crafting area. I've had my sewing desk here. Where this bit is here now, I was like where I kept like my fabrics and bits and bobs for crafting. I've had a big sort out of that so I could get these, some shelving units specifically for my lounge flies. I've always looked at people on Instagram and like how they store their lounge flies and I've always wanted one of those kind of like setups. So here we are. This, oh, these ones are just, they're not gonna be how they're staying. I just needed to put them on to see that they definitely fit. But that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be sorting out my lounge flies. Ideally, I'd like them in sections. So like there's a Winnie the Pooh bit, Star Wars bit, Marvel, Disney parks, and then maybe like an other, if I have any other bags that don't fit in those categories. But that's like how I ideally have it. But before we get into that, I will just give you a quick overview of what the whole thing looks like because I understand you can't really see it. And I did get these, these are made up of, there's more below me obviously. These are actually two bookcases which I'll show you in a minute. I got them off of Argos, I will leave the price and a link to them in the description box down below if you're interested in getting them. They did come in three colours, this one which is like the oak natural wood colour, a black colour and a white. Ideally I wanted the white one because like I've got some frames up here in, the, in here and I might be adding some more and they're all like white frames so I thought the white wood would match nicely with them but then when I went to place the order it was out of stock. So I went with the wood because I thought the colour still looked quite nice. Anyway I'll give you a quick overview of the shelves and then I think we need to get the lounge light on them because honestly there's lounge light everywhere I need to get organised. So yeah we've got a little waiting room here just kind of overflowing. These are literally just the bags I grabbed so I could test them out. So yeah, these are two bookcases. They're three by three each. And I kind of put them like on a bit of a slant. So it gives you a little desk here. It was mainly so you could have the light switch. But you know, let's just pretend it's to look funky. And then I'll have a bit of storage room around here for just other stuff particularly around the corner there. It, I might look into actually, when I need some, getting some shelves like this and just attaching there. Might look into that, but not today. So yeah, I think from my calculations, I should fill all the gaps and have some on top. Obviously I do have some lounge flies, such as my Disneyland Paris anniversary one that will have to go on top because they won't fit in there. And things like Loki, he has to stick out because of his horns. I also have ones like my Olaf one, which is my tallest landfly bag. He'll probably have to go on top as well because he won't fit in. But the others, I think, should in, fit in just fine. I've got this little shelf here as well, my, my phone, which it might get used to put a landfly on, but ideally I'd like to keep this. Just to have like some little ornaments. Like obviously I've got my little calendar here. And I've got some tr Disney traditions. I thought they would look cute there and just like some figures there. But if I need to use that for a lounge fly, that's what it will be prioritised as. But I'd quite like to use it as like a just a cute little shelf. So yeah, going to take these off and then come up with some sort of organisation plan. And we'll go from there. Okay, I've just moved you guys further back. So cute like little organisation montage now. I don't know where to start. Um, I think we'll start with Winnie the Pooh actually because I think that's my biggest 
collection. So. For some reason, this guy doesn't want to stand up. Don't know why. It's because he's quite a small bag and his pouch is like very overpowering for him. So I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> I've also got a couple of crossbody bags. So I'm just gonna like put this to the side for the moment until we figure out a plan to do with these. Cause I don't, it's not gonna sit up very well. So I'm just gonna put them to the side for now. I also have a Star Wars crossbody, so we'll come back to them later. Every time I walk past him, he's gonna fall. We need to come up with some sort of solution. I don't know. Maybe we need something like to hook on to hold his handle in place, I don't know. But he's very carefully propped and I just don't know. Okay, this is the number one I don't know how we're going to display because I don't know if he'll stand. He's my Winnie the Pooh pin trader. I'll put him to the side with crossbodies for the moment. Box has just got a Loki inside, so we'll kill it put to the side as well because we're not onto Marvel yet. put him underneath the Halloween or is like the orange and black next to each other like gonna be too much I don't know we'll see I do not trust this guy I do not trust him how cute does Piglet look underneath this one? The colours! The colours! This bag is very special. It's the first ever time I collaborated with Loungefly. So this is a very special bag. I didn't realise how many Winnie the Pooh bags I had. This is filling up. For some reason, Kangaroo and Roo is the opposite of Gingham Pooh. They're like back heavy. They want to fall backwards for some reason. I don't know why, and it's gonna be annoying. Last Winnie the Pooh bag. This is one of my tool bags as well. So I think it might have to go on top. We will just see. Yeah, no, it's gonna have to go on top. <laughs> Can't see it though, I'll show you it in a minute, but I don't know if I might have to place something behind the top one on top so I don't fall backwards. But the moment it's staying up. So that's Winnie the Pooh section. Done. Okay, what's my next largest collection? I have... Oh no! Eel. You're easily gonna fit in one because you're tiny. This is literally my smallest bag. Everyone always look whenever I take him out, they're like, he's tiny. He is tiny, he's adorable. Okay, now that's the Winnie Pooh bit complete. Okay, so we have two Marvels, three Star Wars, three Disney parks and two others and then the crossbodies. I wanted the Disney parks bags to be kept together but one of them is my Disneyland Paris anniversary one but is. So she's gonna have to go on top. So they might just have to get split up. What we'll do, uh, fun fact, this was my first ever lounge fly. He's also one of the tallest. 
Um, and because he's also my only frozen bag, he has a morning friends to go with. So he'll be going up on the top. Can you see his feet? <laughs> Let's do Star Wars next. I think I just told you I have three Star Wars bags. I have three bags and one crossbody. So we'll do these first. Now moving down, so I'm gonna move the tripod down so you can join me on the lower shelf. So as I just said, I've got three Star Wars backpacks. And so they might just go on like these three shelves together so they can get together. This was my second ever lounge fly bag. <laughs> Then this bag, which was my most recent collaboration with Loungefly, and honestly it was my dream bag. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, I have two Lokis, so we have these two here. I think we can go with that. I, don't, I kept saying my Marvel collection. I literally only collect Loki, so. There we go. I thought he could go on the end so his horns have just some space there next to the open shelf. Where's my other one? How cool is he? And I have Sin now. There's a Star Wars version of this bag, uh, but it's blue. It's still got the flowers, but it's Captain Rex's helmet. And I'm very tempted by it because I love Star Wars, I love flowers. Like that was my favorite because like my favorite Marvel character with flowers. So now I feel like I need the Captain Rex one. I don't know if it's actually available in the UK. I'll have to have a look. I was worried he wasn't gonna fit because of his handle, but look how close that is. So my parks bags, we have Christmas park snacks, Disneyland Paris 30th anniversary, and this parks like icons one these two can obviously fit on the shelves together because they're small but the ears are gonna i really wanted to keep the parks together but here's gonna have to go up on the top shelf look at the ring light catching the sequins i have one more cube down here so i could put R2-D2 That works We are now left with three bags Obviously this one has got its home up top These ones we just need to figure something out Okay I think we need to get up again So I said I really wanted to keep that one with the rest of the Disney Parks ones but I think it's kind of just as cute up there because the light is going to catch the sequins which is going to be really cool. I have this guy I forgot about. I got him from the Loungefly Europe event in London. Okay so all the Loungeflies are in place except for one but I will explain why. I have sorted out what I was doing with that shelf and it's kind of got the best of both worlds and I also figured something out else out with these shelves and I feel like I'm a genius for thinking of this let me show you I really happened on these two can you notice anything different no that's why it's a genius so obviously I have loads of things that need boxes storing and like my mystery keys for example I keep the boxes for them and you know there's only so much storage space in the room which now I thought genius these are like so long, you could probably fit lounge flies like two in them if you weren't bothered about actually displaying them. So behind all of these, there's so much space. Storage! So let me just show you. Behind this Hot Topic beauty, we have a box for a Disney tradition. <laughs> but you'll never know. And with this guy, I think he might be a box lunch exclusive to begin with, but I got him on Funko Europe. Behind him is all my boxes for my Winnie the Pooh mystery keys. So yeah, now I've just like had that little bright spark that I can do with that. It's actually going to help me and my collection out so much. The fact that I can now have somewhere to like hide my storage boxes. And 
you know, still have everything on display and everything that I want hidden is hidden but still in safekeeping because obviously I want the boxes to remain as intact as I can. So I will just quickly give you a quick overview of it and I'm so happy with how it's turned out. Obviously they're all in their sections, you can kind of see the Winnie the Pooh section here featuring Olaf and his Aunt Harris. Let's just go for it because honestly I am in love, I can't help just keep staring at it and I'm so happy I finally got a lounge fire display. So here is the overview. It honestly is making me so happy. So Beauty and the Beast is just the one I need to leave to figure out. As you can see, his sorted out down there. I might see if I can just put something in here so I can get them sorted out, but that's that's that for now. Temporary solution, but we will come to that. We'll figure something out. Anyway, I think I'll start here because this is the shelf I was talking to you guys about that I said was ideally meant to be for a lounge fire in case I didn't have space, but I did want it to be for like a little cute little shelf for like ornaments and things like that. I've made the best of both worlds. So behind at the back is my Stitch Shop Winnie the Pooh balloon crossbody bag. And I have actually just unstrapped the crossbody bit and put it inside the bag, which is how it came. So then it can just sit in the corner there and look really cute and it's obviously got space for the balloon to dangle. Then next to it, I have got the Disney Tradition, which I've got the box kept behind that. So I just thought he'd look cute on the side there. I got him while I was in Denmark last September, and I haven't had a place to display him yet, so I feel like this is a perfect little place. And then we have my little desktop calendar. I did originally just have this by my computer, but I feel like it's a much better place for it here. And it's like a little cute little poo corner, which then takes us on to the Winnie the Pooh section. Obviously these three are up the top because one, space is full, but also because they are too tall to fit in. I mean, look, you can see compared to the other two how tall Olaf is. So he'd have not stood a chance fitting in there. But yeah, those are up there. And also look at the sequins catching the light. I love it. Then we have my Winnie the Pooh collection and as I said these two have currently got things behind them but later I'll go through my collection and sort out what like needs to be sorted and not and then probably the rest will all have stuff behind them. He's being well behaved and I think I finally got him propped up where he's not gonna fall so we love that. And then Eeyore is just, he's close to the rest of the Winnie the Pooh section but he's just joining in with the Loki shelf, and then we have Star Wars shelf, and then down the bottom, little more Star Wars continued, and some Parks bags. And then around here, I've just got my Loungefly bag that I got from the event that had all the goodies in it, my Winnie the Pooh pin trader bag, because honestly, I don't know how else to display him. And as I said, we still need to figure out something for that, because it's not something that usually lives in my collection, but I got it at the event, so. We need to find a home for it. But other than that, I am super happy with how it looks. So I think it is pretty safe to say a lot of my TikToks, Reels, YouTube videos, videos in general, I think this might be a new background for them because I'm so happy with how it looks. Literally, I've always seen on Instagram collectors having their lounge fly boxes like this. And I finally have one and I love it. So I think that is it for this video. Thank you for joining me and sorting out my lounge flies with me. We finally have a little home for them. Let me know in the comment section down below how you store your lounge flies. Do you have them on display like this? Do you use hooks on your walls? Or do you have another method? Do let me know in the comment section down below. And if you don't collect lounge flies, which was your favourite? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please pop that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more from Moi, don't forget to click subscribe down below. While you're down there, don't forget to ding the notification bell and you might as well. You're already down there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!